<laughs> right. Uh, well, um, on the, the way here, we had some um, um, advanced weather. And um, <laughs> Sarah, who uh, was with Nathan in that, uh, Nathan decided to um, turn back, which is always a good decision. You can never criticise that as just being safe. This morning was fine getting here, um, but then we tried to get to Kemble, and there was just I couldn't find any gaps. It was, I was down about 300 feet along the beach. Uh, I was carrying a passenger, I wasn't worth risking it, so I went as far as I could until I saw where the high ground was, and I couldn't see the top of that. So I just turned back, came back to this airfield, um, looked at the weather radars again. It sort of looked like it was moving to the east. So I got airborne again, and it was still in the same position, down about 200 feet. Um, so I just flew quite low along the beach, all the way back into here, and now we've got the aircraft hanging in this place. So I should hopefully stay here, nice and protected. The guys here have been great, and um, really, really helpful. We tried twice, um, so the first leg was great, then we, we came here, had a break, we tried again, it wasn't so good, after about 40 minutes we came back, waited a bit more and tried again, so I've had lots of goes, I could just sit but up myself now, <laughs> no, it was really good. Got one aircraft missing, it is still an inch, we'll get that tomorrow or the next day, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, so that's pretty good, it's gone very well. And it's longer, it's the longest trip we've had, and everyone still gets on well. And it's a really, really good team. And every time we have one of these expeditions, the team gets stronger and stronger and stronger, which I think will be absolutely essential for our ultimate goal of getting to the South Pole, hopefully. And wherever we go, people seem to have heard about us and they all want to be involved and help us and everything is just all positive. Really great. We've had a good laugh as well, especially with Richard and um, Kat. Actually everybody, they all laugh. Julian, who's a laugh. Probably the best bit on is the first time we've done all these trial flights and met all these other people who might potentially join us at some stage. And if we've made a difference in their lives, that's really great because then even if you made a difference in one person's life, that would be positive and worth the whole trip. But we may have made a difference in a few people's lives. And you cannot put a price on that. This has been great and a, a good learning experience for everybody, I think, and sort of quite a good sort of bonding experience for everyone. So, uh, and I must say, I mean, you know, it's one thing for me to come along and fly around a bit and help out and be a mentor and that sort of thing, but, but James and Sharon and the girls and all the sort of, they've been driving for miles and miles. Yeah, brilliant, what an effort. So thank you to all of the support people, it's really good. It's been fantastic actually, even though we're all uh, pretty tired. Um, I think what we aimed to, to get out of this trip was obviously gain more experience for the pilots. But the fact that we've given over 60 trial flights to, uh, to individuals that, uh, that had never sort of experienced what we we do. It's fantastic and the response that they had was, uh, was well worth the, uh, the effort for the last six months in organising the trip. If all the effort that we put into the trip even helped one person to change their, uh, change their way of life, then, that was, then that's worth it. Thank you very much. <laughs>